Hi everybody, um, welcome to part two of my uh, vlog that took an hour to film on Sunday. So if you've missed part one, I'm dressed like this, so uh, they're all sort of, I'm going to record them one after the other and upload them all a little bit separately, just so you can see part one, two and three at the moment. This is a vlog mainly about, um, I've covered my sewing that I've done in my last vlog, but I did mention that I'd got a new sewing machine. Um, the reason for that and the eagle-eyed ones amongst you will notice that uh, my sewing room sign is up here. It's not on the door behind me like it used to be. Um, so. For those of you who haven't watched me from the beginning, I used to sew at the end of the kitchen. After about eight months, we decided the small front bedroom uh, would be a better place for me to go. It was a bit chilly in the kitchen. It was a bit of thoroughfare and yeah, it was a bit a bit cold um, on an evening, especially if the heating had been on during the day. So I moved everything up apart from fabric stash, patterns, books and bigger stuff like um, my snaps and, and all the paraphernalia with those and my spools for my overlocker and things like that. So I moved all the little bits and twiddly bits and pieces up to the front bedroom. I could just about get my overlocker and my old machine on the little dressing table come desk that was in that room. It was quite cramped and quite cosy but you know, it did the job. Anyway, around my birthday, I'd been thinking about getting a new sewing machine for a while now. Um, I did have a little brother machine. Well, I still do have a little brother machine. Um, and I've, be, I've had my eye on a, a faff or a faff, as the Americans say. I think the Americans say faff, which is much better than faff. Um, because in, in the North East, I don't know about anywhere else in the country, we'll say, oh, it's a right faff. And we just mean it was a right chew on, it was like a bother. So faff doesn't doesn't sit right with me anyway. Um, so I'd had my eye on a, a, a faff, a pop off, and I knew where I was going to get it and everything. Um, but I hadn't really done anything about it. So I had that little bit of bother. I think I showed everybody the bother I had with the spool and my brother machine just sort of lifting out of the little pocket that it sat in and all these threads coming through the needle plate. It never happened again, but I just thought, you know, once something happens, you're, you're waiting for it to happen again. So I thought, look, it's been my birthday. We've been through a lot with the chemo and everything. I'm going to treat myself. Stuff it. Stuff it and so i rang i was going to ring up and i was going to order myself a new machine anyway in the meantime was sewing the stella hoodie which i show in part one of the the uh, the vlog and um i <laughs> went to overlock something piece of material that i was doing for something i, I don't know if it was overlock that might have been me overlocking yeah, it could have been overlocking on the on the Stella hoodie. And for all I used to say, I loved threading my overlocker. It was because it always worked. I never had a problem with it. But I sat for an hour, nearly an hour and a half, actually, trying to thread my old overlocker, which was a brother one. And it had been absolutely fine. And since that night, actually, it's worked since. And it, it's been absolutely fine since. I get neuropathy in my fingers from the chemo and just lately a new symptom that I've developed is this sort of the cramp up especially when I was trying to thread the needle and I'm hold, I was holding my fingers in a certain position for quite a while trying to thread the needle well I kept cramping up to the point where that finger got double stabbed by both needles and drew blood blood everywhere um, because it just cramped up as I was putting it near the needle. Um, so that was that was the overlocker nearly going through the bedroom window at that point because I think I'd been on about 50 minutes. But there was 
still these like four strings coming out the back there was no chain coming out the back the, the following day when i rang up to order my new machine i did think oh i wonder if i could part x my old overlocker and get an air threader and at the finish i decided i wouldn't part exit i didn't part exit i thought that one will do to take to sewing socials with my old machine because they're both a little bit smaller so anyway what did i get well i got this little beauty and I did do an unboxing vlog, but to be honest, I put the big box in front of the new machine and you, <laughs> and you can't see it. And I'm chatting about it. And then I suddenly realised I've got a box in front of me, my new, my new machine. And I was oh, sorry, I'll move that out of the way. So I'm just going to turn you around. So there's the overlocker there. It's a Janome. Uh, it's an air threader. And it's beautiful, as you can see. And so far i'm finding the air threader even harder to thread <laughs> well that sounds really stupid but yeah the 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 needle threader part of the machine isn't as smooth shall we say as the needle threader on a on a sewing machine it it you press it and it's a bit jerky could just be because it's new but we'll give it a chance anyway the air threader works fine but very happy with that so right i'm gonna turn you around now and show you my sewing machine let's put you there let's tilt you down so this is it here so it is a faf expression 710 with a built-in idt it has this huge throat plate um Everybody goes on about the lights on it, which I was thinking, yeah, well, they've all got lights on, but by gum, it is like a runway. Um, it is, it's not really showing, let's see. No, it doesn't really show under this light. If I put that light off. There, you can see how bright that is underneath. Um, so this massive throat plate, it's more for a, a sort of a quilting type machine rather than a, I think the next model up does more embroidery stitches, which at the minute embroidery, oh dear, God, off we go. Um, yeah, but it does, I mean, it does all these stitches. It literally, I hope I'm focusing in right, it does all these stitches, it does loads of them and embroidery isn't my thing at the minute but who's to say who's to say that it won't be right just stop the video there by pressing my screen i do apologize so who's to say that embroidery you know will will be my thing in a couple of years time and i'll want to do embroidery but i think there's enough stitches there to keep me quite satisfied on the embroidery front now that eagle eye eagle eyed ones if you will notice that um i've moved sewing rooms so yes yeah, so i started off in the kitchen i went up to the front bedroom um i left big sewing stuff downstairs in the kitchen in the dresser and i was cutting out on the dining room table that's behind me here um i had stuff in the front bedroom there was stuff getting dumped in here like fabric when i'd washed it and i didn't have room to put it in my stash so i was literally in one two three four rooms in the house and then when my new machine came it would not fit with my overlocker on the little desk area in the front bedroom so I moved into my son's room while he was still at university because he's got a few couple of months left to do anyway before he comes back. So I thought, well, I'll just use his desk in his room. So that meant I was in five rooms of the house. And it meant when I was sewing, I was coming downstairs to cut something out. I was going back upstairs. I was thinking, no, I've left my pins downstairs. So I started to split pins between different rooms um all my rulers and and chalk and i was constantly carrying baskets of stuff around the house to cut patterns out downstairs take everything upstairs then i'd left the pattern instructions downstairs and i was up and down and up and down the stairs and it was just exhausting that was it i i thought 
I can't, I can't be doing this. So this is what we used to call the back room. And the computer used to be in here and it was a bit of a sort of a study come second television room. It was hubby that suggested, why don't you sew in the back room? And originally we're going to have the sewing stuff and the computer still in here, but he's actually moved the computer up to the front little bedroom. And to be fair, he could do anything that he does on the computer. He could do it on a laptop and sit anywhere in the house he wants. So he might just bring the laptop in here and have a sit here if I'm not sewing, which isn't going to be very much because I absolutely love it in here. I have everything I need here, apart from my fabric stash, which is where it was at the end of the hall and the stuff that was in the dresser. But that's literally just through there. Everything else I have here. So I've got my thread no that way <laughs> i've got my thread spools behind me that way yeah i've got um a bookcase in the background there with all my interfacing ribbons zips uh cutting out stuff tracing patterns off stuff um i've booked the trend um we went to get a, a an ikea table um to put everything on if i just turn around and show you so i've booked the trend and i've gone with black but can you see how careful i'm being i've actually put this mat down that was the mat that from my um, from my other from my overlocker my old overlocker um just because i'm using sort of ceramic things and i don't want my new desk to get scratched <laughs> must protect it um so i've got a a bit of a tray here for my work in progress and my instruction books because i'm still at the stage of looking at them every five seconds for my new machines got a little little pegboard it's not as big as some of the people have but i just wanted somewhere to hang my scissors really because i i don't want them clattering down on my new desk um of course i've got my ben q light brilliant brilliant light um toot and ploot me little dogs um i didn't really know where to put them but i think they look quite cute up there i've got a bit of stuff in here this is an old stereo cabinet that we used to have in here um yeah there's a bit of junk on the floor down there i've got my bit of bunting up there but i think i might make some more and then we've got, of course, oh, Vera, Colour, currently with my, my Stella hoodie on. And uh, next round, I've put my cutting mat here because there's really nowhere to put it unless it's on a table flat. Um, and there's no tables that big in the house, to be honest. It sticks out over the edge of the desk behind so it's no good on there but then also there's all my my shelf unit with all my stuff in so everything in there and there's some a box of patterns down here but most of my patterns and that's a lovely big well, you've seen that one before but a lovely big fabric haul that's going to be my next vlog so uh if you want to see what's in that lot You'll have to look at part three of the vlog. So there you go. That's my new, my new sewing space. And really, I'd lost my sojo. One, because I felt so dreadful. Two, because I was spread over five rooms of the house and I just didn't know what was where. And it was just incredibly difficult to sort of settle into sewing a lot because there would be something in another room of the house and it was driving us nuts. Then I had the disaster when I stay stitched the neckline of this blouse. Um, and it, it, the, my new machine sort of rushed it to, to, as if the tension was completely wrong and it's supposed to like alter the tension for you. All that happened was I hadn't engaged the IDT. So when I stitched it again, it was perfect. But by that point, I was so hacked off with being in different rooms of the house and having to sit in my son's bedroom, which I didn't particularly want to be in, not because of any horrible reason or anything, but I just, I just didn't feel like I was in my space. 
didn't feel comfortable. I knew I was going to have to move out of there when he came back because he's going to want his PlayStation on and he's going to want to work at his own desk and do his own stuff. Um, so I just felt like I was flitting about the house. So the sojo really took an absolute tumble. Um, and yeah, I, I, but I just love it in here. And I've, I think I've spent more time sewing in here. And even when it says, like even when, when it says, even when it, when I do something wrong and I'm going to have to unpick it, if I'm sitting in here, it's fab. There's also actually because I'll show you quickly because it was a telly, telly room. We have a telly on the wall up there. So it means I can put YouTube on and I can have uh, Rachel or Adele or Ruan or Alison or any of me, any of me favourites or Karen or <laughs> any of the girls that I watch. I can have them playing in the background um, and watch them at the same time as I'm sewing because this was always the thing. I either watch vlogs or I sew. I could do both together and... I would watch vlogs and I'd want to get, I'd want to crack on and sew. And it inspires you to sew and you think, yeah, I'm gonna go and I wanna sew. And you think, oh, I'll just watch this, I'll just watch this. And before you know it, three hours has gone and you haven't done a pick of sewing. So this way I can watch it at the same time. So that's the sewing room tour. That's part two of this vlog finished. I'm now gonna go on and do part three, which is gonna be the fabric haul and pattern haul actually. I've ordered quite a few patterns as well because although I lost my sojo by gum it didn't stop me spending so um I hope you all enjoyed this vlog if if you're new here um and you consider subscribing that would be brilliant uh please do click the notification bell um and you'll get to know when I do post another vlog and there is normally more sewing to show you or more fabric or something because I'm always spending I'll, I'll do a review of my machines when I really know what I'm doing and, and how I'm using them. But I'll let, let you all know how I get on. So take care, everybody. Enjoy part three if you're going on to watch part three. I'll hopefully see you soon. Take care. Bye.